Hello lovelies, I'm Cecilia and I've written Beauty for Ashes and I'm here to talk about it today. A little under two weeks ago, Cecilia Sammartin came to Norway. She traveled around Norway to promote her book Beauty for Ashes. Cecilia has sold over a million copies of books here in Norway alone, so this is a big deal. I went to the book meeting. I got to hear her talk about her book and I got to talk to the publishers afterwards. They then asked me if I wanted to tag along the next day to go behind the scenes a bit and to have a chat with Cecilia. Of course I said yes. So here's what happened. I had to get up super, super early. Then we went to the biggest morning show here in Norway. I got to be behind the scenes and do a bit of filming while they had their interview and it was a lot of fun. Little. <laughs> Now the book is Beauty for Ashes, and here's what it's about. So Beauty for Ashes is a story following three characters, three girls, one from Moldova, one from the US, and one from Mexico. They all meet in the neon city of Las Vegas as they are forced into human trafficking. It's said to be a very gripping, very hard book to read, and it is very current. Cecilia Sammartin has done a lot of research about human trafficking and she also worked as a psychotherapist. I am so, so curious and look forward to diving into this. After we had our coffee, we went back to her hotel and we had a chat. Unfortunately, there's a problem with the audio on the interview that we filmed together. So I was hoping to get it fixed, but I wasn't able to. But here are some of the things that I learned about Cecilia. I asked her about her writing process. She gets up at 4.30 to 5 every morning to write. And when it comes to her morning writing routines, she says all she needs is two cups of coffee to get herself going. Beauty for Ashes took about two years to write. Cecilia Sammartin always publishes her books in Norway first. We talked about Norway, how much she loves it, and how much she's gonna miss the people here. And I even recommended that she get a cab in here so she can come visit more often. Cecilia lives pretty close to Las Vegas, and that is one of the reasons apart from it being one of the biggest hubs for human trafficking, that she chose that city to set her story in. Those are just a few of the things that we got to talk about. If you want to read the full interview, it will be written on my blog, so you can go there, there will be links down below so you can read the whole thing. I want to say a big thank you to Cecilia Sammartin, to the publisher Judith Forlag, and of course to TV2 Gumor Norge for letting me tag along and film some bits and pieces along the way behind the scenes. Now if you want more information about Cecilia and her books, her website will be linked down below so go check that out. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video soon. Goodbye! Thank you.